From the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, this is your evening weather update. Scattered showers and thunderstorms added again on this Thursday across the Tennessee Valley, both in northwest Alabama and now developing in southern middle Tennessee. None of this has been severe, but some locally heavy downpours and some gusty winds at times. We'll see more of the same here Friday and then especially the weekend rain chances definitely going up there. Here's the future cast breakdown showing as we head deeper into the evening. A lot of this does settle down. We have rain cooled air over northwest Alabama. Southern Middle Tennessee storms will be moving into that deeper into the evening. So we go partly to mostly cloudy overnight morning lows in the upper 60s and lower 70s. And then as we get into Friday, we get our daytime heating back upper 80s, lower 90s. And that sparks showers and thunderstorms scattered, but still numerous across the area as we head into the afternoon and at least the early evening, if not a little later than that. A few locally heavy downpours possible as we head through Friday in the Friday evening. And then more of the same for the weekend, but it'll be much more widespread Saturday and Sunday, I think, especially Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. And again, Sunday into Sunday nights, we have a few thunderstorm complexes we'll be looking for. I don't think there's a big severe weather threat, although we can see a few gusty storms. Main concern is going to be lightning and heavy rainfall, which based on the timing that looks more, more and more likely, may impact moving on the square in Lawrenceburg Saturday evening that we were looking at. Rain's looking likely. Unfortunately there, we'll see how that plays out, but weather not looking good for it. As we had through the weekend, those showers and thunderstorms likely again on Sunday, and then at least scattered showers and thunderstorms possible Monday as well with the stall frontal battery, and then rain chances become more isolated through the middle of next week. Rainfall totals look like this. Don't take this to the exact at your specific backyard, but this is the average for the area. That looks like a good two to three inches for the next seven days on average, and a lot of that will focus up over the weekend. However, there could be some isolated heavier totals in here. There could also be some isolated areas where you don't quite see that much because the storms will be scattered. It won't be some uniform rain, and this is how we often see it during the middle of summer. Things are scattered and a bit random. Upper 80s, lower 90s here for the next five to seven days. Right around where we should be for this time of year as we head into early and mid-July. Also upper 60s to lower 70s for your morning lows as we also expect as we head through the first half of July. Tropical satellite showing not a lot going on and not expecting tropical development for at least the next seven days. Dropping out of the 80s into the 70s this evening where you already have it because of rain cold air and then morning lows near 70 degrees, give or take a few there as we head early into Friday. And then partly cloudy to mostly cloudy through the day with scattered showers and thunderstorms becoming more numerous midday, afternoon, early evening, upper 80s to near 90 over southern middle Tennessee. More of the same in northwest Alabama, mainly lower 90s for most of us here with afternoon scattered showers and thunderstorms becoming more likely. Here's a seven day forecast. The rain chances only go up from here heading into the weekend. Showers and thunderstorms likely Saturday and Sunday during the daytime and nighttime periods. Some of the heaviest rain may be late Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, and then again on Sunday. So we'll watch that carefully. Elevated rain chances in the early next week and then stuff becomes more isolated Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. There's literally a seven day forecast I'll be back at 9 o'clock with another check of your local weather.